oh, this has just been focused here the whole time. You know what? I'm not even going to film it again. This is just where my camera's focused. Hello pretty people, I'm Izzy aka The Quirky Environmentalist and here on this YouTube channel as well as on my blog we talk about sustainable living, ethical fashion, environmentalism and other bits and pieces too and today I'm going to teach you how to make one of these lovely tassel t-shirts. Now there's a bit of a story behind why I'm making this t-shirt which I'm going to tell you now but if you just want to go straight to the tutorial and skip my little intro then there should be timestamps in the video and if you can't see them there then they're in the description for you to just skip straight ahead to the start. So, story time. In my free time I do burlesque and last year for Pride Cymru, Cardiff Pride, Welsh Pride, you know, the weekend we celebrate Pride here in Cardiff, um, there I couldn't find a Pride t-shirt that I really wanted, like I was trying to find something which had like a slogan that I really liked on it and I saw lots of t-shirts that yeah I liked but I didn't see anything that I liked that was also ethically made and could tell me who was making my clothes. And if you've seen my Who Made My Pride merch campaign, you'll know that on this channel we are not supporting um, queer merch, LGBT merchandise, which also exploits people on the other side of the world. Um, so I was like, why don't I just make my own? I like burlesque, I like rainbows and pride. And let's meld the two together. So last year I made a t-shirt that, it was this one, I got it from a charity shop from White Rose in Nottingham, I painted tassel twirling queer on the back and I stuck these here tassels, these rainbow tassels to the front. And it was great as a temporary fix to the problem. Very temporary, as in I stuck these on with double sided sticky tape and they came off like before the day was even out. And I wasn't going to stick these to my t-shirt permanently because they're very nice, quite expensive tassels that I also use when performing um, and I didn't want to use them on a t-shirt when I could keep using them performing them. So we're fast forwarding to this year and I got this and I've been learning how to embroider during quarantine and I was like, you know what, I could just embroider some tassels on my t-shirt. Now when people, when people ask who made your pride merch, I can say myself and you can do if you want to make these. Yeah, let's actually get into it. So, what do you need to make it? Well, first of all, you need an embroidery hoop, a needle, a pair of scissors, and a pencil to draw the outline of your tassels. Then for thread, you either need some thread to make your tassels out of, or you can just pre-buy tassels. If you don't like fiddly things, recommend pre-buying tassels. That's what I'm gonna do next time. And then you're going to need embroidery thread for your tassels. I use six different colours for the rainbow, but you don't have to do it like that. You can use whatever colour combination you want. First step, you need to draw the outline of your tassels. I recommend doing this with a t-shirt on and just looking at where your chest sits. <laughs> Basically, you kind of kind of be drawing nipples on your shirt. <laughs> quite big round nipples with a little dot in the middle as to where you want your tassels to go so you have an outline when you're doing your embroidery. Just makes things easier. Then it's tassel time. You can make these. I've left a tutorial in the description if you want to make these yourself. I try to do a tutorial myself but I'm not actually very good at making tassels. Um, they're quite fiddly as I've said before. But whether you're buying tassels or you're making them yourself, the next step is to sew them into place. Um, some badly made tassels and we're going to put them in what looks like the nipple holes of our top, which is going to be the centre of our pasties. So for this you're just going to need some thread, this thread and a needle. Now to attach, I first recommend putting your t-shirt into your embroidery hoop so that your pasty outline is in the centre to make it easier for you to sew. Then we're threading the non-tassel end of the tassel into your needle to bring it through the t-shirt. Um, and you're going to want to tie a knot on the inside of your t-shirt, making sure that on the outside the length of the tassels are the length that you want them and that they're the same length on each tassel and then thread your needle once more so that you can sew over that knot several times to secure it in place. Then comes the long but fun bit, we're going to embroider our 
tassels. For this we're using two ply split stitch and I'm starting off with red. Two ply just means that you take two strands of your embroidery thread out, use an arm length at a time and I'm going to show you how to do split stitch. Start with your needle at the back of your fabric and do a small normal stitch. You go up, out and back into your fabric. The next step is where we split. You come back up through the fabric but you're coming back up in the middle of the stitch you just made. So halfway along and between the two threads, the two ply that are already there, you come up and then you make another normal stitch of about the same length and you keep going with this coming up halfway along each thread each time. Smaller stitches are much more compact and neater with split stitch but they'll also take you longer so you can experiment a bit before you try this with what length you want for your tassels. And then once you've finished a length of thread you want to finish on the back of your fabric. You're going to tie that thread off get your new thread and start again halfway between the last stitch you made to carry it on. Once I did this with red I just repeated it with all of the other colours I had and I used two rows of each colour apart from the purple in the middle to make this rainbow pattern. Repeat all these steps on the next side of your t-shirt and then lots of hours later maybe in front of the TV whilst embroidering like I was doing, you are done. Simple. And we're done! I know you've already seen this <laughs> t-shirt in the intro because I filmed this and the intro at the same time, but yeah, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. It's a little bit messy. Um, as I said, I haven't been doing embroidery that long, but I really enjoy it. This took me a while. I tend to just avoid it mindlessly while watching TV and I'm new so I'm quite slow but I hope you try it out as well. If you do then you should tag me on social media at MonkeyLoud. Also highly recommend trying to take pictures of a tassel t-shirt in the wind. It was an adventure. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's coming to the end of Pride Month but as my Pride Month stuff started late I will continue it and I'm probably just going to continue it for the rest of the year because I enjoy making stuff like this. Um, yeah give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe for more stuff like this and chats about sustainability, check out other videos I've made on various interesting topics and I will see you in the next video.